Welcome to episode four of the Pearl Code Street Along. In this episode, we're going to talk about separating the sleeves from the body. So let's jump right in. So let me just bring my gorgeous Pearl Code sweater into frame here. And off to the side, I have some waste yarn on a darning needle. Okay, so I actually have one more stitch to knit here. And then it says to um, remove the marker. Then I'm going to knit one. Oh, I see. Okay, knit one right there. All right, now I'm going to slip the next 44 stitches onto my darning needle. So I'm just going to very slowly pass them off onto the needle and every once in a while I'll pull this through and then I'll pass a few more until I get all 44. All right, I'm nearly done getting the last stitches on there. All right, so now I'm going to pull this through and I can take my darning needle off and set that aside. Okay, so then it says to remove the marker and using the backwards loop cast on, we are going to cast on a certain amount of stitches depending on your size. So you can see here that the stitches between the needles are all on this waist yarn. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn this whole thing over so that I can tie this in a bow. So I'm just going to flip this over like this. And I'm going to bring my needles together and I'm just going to, so this doesn't fall out and so the sleeve is separated, I'm just going to tie this in like a cute little bow right here. That way the sleeves are on their own little loop here and I don't have to worry about that piece of yarn coming out. Okay, so now I want to find whichever needle has the live yarn attached to it, with this, which is this one right here. And I'm going to cast on eight stitches for my size, then I'm going to place a marker and cast on eight more. Okay, so I am just going to hold the yarn out like this. And um, if I hold it straight out like this and I scoop like this, then I can throw a stitch on like that. So there's one two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Then I'm going to grab a marker and toss a marker on there. That's going to be our side seam. And then eight more. One. Ooh. Helps if you don't split the yarn on the needle. Two three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, and eight. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to knit one. Okay, so now I gotta get my other needle back in here if you're asking me to knit one. Okay, and this one is in bold, and the reason why it is in bold is because this one is a purl stitch and they want to make sure that you knit that for now. So I'm going to stuff my sleeve out of the way and I'm just going to insert right in here like this and then I'm going to knit one just like that and then I'm going to knit to my next marker and I'm going to slip the next sleeve. So on I go until both sleeves are held. It is then up to you to keep track of which round you are on and continue coding every second round until the body of your sweater is done. Then perform the ribbing and I'll meet you back here for a stretchy bind off. 